Epinephrine is indicated if the heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute after at least 30 seconds of PPV that inflates the lung as evidenced by chest movement and another 60 seconds of chest compression coordinated with PPV using 100% oxygen. In most cases, ventilation should be provided through a properly inserted ET tube or LMA so you have reliable ventilation. Epinephrine is not indicated before you have established ventilation that inflates. Obviously, even chest compression is not indicated before this stage. So the dose is 0.1 mg per ml epinephrine uh, or 1 mg in 10 ml strength. Uh, 1 in 10,000 is what we used to say. And adrenaline word is pref uh, less preferred over use of epinephrine to have standard nomenclature. Intravenous is preferred or intraosseous. Endotracheal is only while the access is being established to bite time. And remember the uh, flush is 3 ml saline and endotracheal should be a 3 to 5 ml syringe. No flush is needed for ET. Intravenous or intraosseous is 0 0.02 mg per kilogram and a range of 0.01 to 0 0.03 mg. So if you are communicating, be clear whether you are speaking in terms of milligram or ml and stick to that within the team. If you have 1 in 10,000 as a only strength, then remembering the ml per kilo is easier as it's 0 0.2 ml per kilo. And the endotracheal dose is 0.1 milligram or 1 ml per kilo. So the dose when it is given intravenous should be as quickly as possible, flush with 3 ml normal saline and repeat every 3 minutes. So suppose you have given the first dose endotracheal and the baby continues to need chest compression. If the UVC is in, you don't need to wait for this 3 to 5 minutes because ET dose is recognized as a not an effective dose. So the first assessment after the UVC is in if the heart rate is less, even if it is just 1 or 2 minutes after the ET dose, you can give the IV dose as a first dose and then start this 3 to 5 minute cycle. Endotracheal uh, administer PPV after the dose to distribute into the lungs, there is no flush. Volume expander is indicated if the baby is not responding to the steps of resuscitation and there are signs of shock or history of acute blood loss. Even if there are no signs of shock or blood loss history, you may give a 10 ml per kilo saline bolus because the heart rate is not improving after the epinephrine given IV. Uh, normal saline or type O RH negative blood is preferred if there is evidence of blood loss. Intravenous or intraosseous can be given and 30 or 60 ml syringe because it's a term baby 10 ml per kilo you'll need 30 ml uh, rate over 5 to 10 minutes a quick push in a premature baby you may need to be slower uh, and you don't usually go for a 20 ml per kilo dose in a premature baby though in a term baby you may consider 10 to 20 so uvc insertion kit so one of the tips is to have a plastic bag with the uvc kit in it Many times if you have it uh, lying in the crash cart in a facade way, it's difficult to pick out, especially the blade, the artery forceps, the tie, uh, these are very important. Uh, it's not a sterile procedure exactly in the labor room, however you try to be as aseptic as you can. Use sterile gloves and have a sterile field if possible, but it needs to be done quickly. The depth of insertion is different in the labor room scenario as well, you don't aim to go to the typical position and you just need to insert uh, 4 to 5 centimeter and get enough blood back and then when, if you want to keep this UVC again you may need to reinsert it in a more sterile way in the NICU and with the appropriate depth measurement. Most of us have the intraosseous uh, drill which makes intraosseous uh, placement very easy. The upper tibia, the medial aspect is preferred. If you don't have uh, option here due to any reason you can consider the lower femur uh, as an option as well. So we discussed the cardio acronym already for uh, inadequate improvement. Then you also look at epinephrine dose, whether it was given intravenously and whether you have a line in place and whether there is a pneumothorax, you may need to call an urgent x-ray if there is inadequate response. So obviously these are babies where we are really stuck, where improvement is not happening despite the best.